Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired librarian turned homeschool mom. And in this video, we're gonna look at an interesting little book. So this is called Tao's Tutu, written by Mary Ann Jacob Maracas and illustrated by Aaliyah Marling. I'm sorry, I mispronounced the names. So I like this book. It's a very cute book about a little boy by the name of Tao who likes tutus. He likes to dance. So he, when he goes to um, his first ballet class, he wears a pink tutu and his teacher is supportive of him and he he'd seen Swan Lake with his parents he's danced at home with his parents so ballet was different and he learns the different steps and then they are going to have a recital and there's a black shirt and black a shirt and black pants and then there's this flowery tutu he takes both home he doesn't really like the pants and the shirt they don't look right. He puts on the tutu and he loves it. And he dances around and it makes him happy. And he goes and his parents tell him to be brave because he's afraid. He's afraid of what people are going to say. But the moment he's on stage, his teacher says he looks fantastic, fantastic in his tutu and he dances on stage and he is happy and everybody praises him. So I like this book because it I'm very much an ally of the community that would support this. Um, what they don't, it's a very interesting children's book. It doesn't go into the details. It's just talking about a little boy who likes wearing tutus and likes to dance. And it's that simple. So this is a very simple children's book, but it definitely demonstrates about a child's identity and just being who they are. Not necessarily putting a label on it when they're this young. And you want to wear a tutu and you're a boy, go right ahead. If this is what makes you happy. And that's the biggest representation here is his family supports him, his teachers support him. Yes, there's a little boy. It's like, why are you wearing a tutu? And his teacher says, I wish I had a tutu like that. So his teacher and his family are supporting him in what makes him feel good. And if wearing a tutu is what makes him feel good and dancing the ballet in a tutu on stage is what makes him feel good, then all the power to him because it's what makes him happy. And that's the entire point of this adorable little story. It doesn't really use labels because again, it's very simple. It's a good little book for children um, to talk about accepting people for being different. I just happened to open up the page to here's Tao and his little pink tutu. Here's a boy, it's like, why are you wearing a tutu? And his teacher says, I, I wish I had a tutu like that. So you see him in his class and he's kind of nervous. So I like the illustrations. They're done very, very well. It's like they're chalk. And he talks to his teacher, it's like, what did I do the splits in the air? It's like, you have to, you have to, there's a lot of practice to do a grand arabesque. So they talk about the different moves he does and the different children in the class and how he practices at home in a pink tutu and how he loves his ballet, ballet slippers and imagines himself one day dancing up on stage. And this is kind of, here are the pictures of how he doesn't particularly like the male costume and yet he loves this flowery tutu and it's what makes him happy. And his parents say, just dance, just be happy. He thinks about the music and dancing at home with his family. And then there he is on stage. And it's also very multicultural because you see kids of different, all shapes and sizes and different colors. So I really like this book. It's very, very simple. It's very good for the young elementary age in introducing, accepting people for who they are and talking to children about doing what makes them feel happy, no matter what other people may think. So that's what I love about this. And again, it's really simple. It doesn't really use labels because this is a very little boy and that is not the point. The point is he's doing something that makes him happy and how important it is to support our children in doing things that make them feel good. I mean, I'm not the biggest pink person in all the world. My daughter likes pink. My daughter, I think her favorite color is yellow right now. And I'm not pretty big fond of yellow either, but 
it makes her happy. I mean, I don't decide what she wears during the day. She wears what she's comfortable in. She knows her own body. Yes, she's three, but mommy has some basic rules like she has to wear covered shoes to school. She has to wear draw. She has to be dressed. Well, she's not one of those. She's never really been one of those kids that does naked. Um, we never really had that issue, my daughter, oddly enough, not, not a lot. She's always been big on clothes and layers and layers of clothes, but that's what makes her happy. And the same with this. He wants to wear a tutu, he's gonna wear a tutu. It's what makes him happy. If he loves to dance, it's something else that I love. I'm not any good at it, but it makes me happy. I don't do it that much. I rock climb, that's my exercise. And I'm not great at it, but it makes me happy. So my husband will take a ballet bar class at his yoga studio. He's mostly surrounded by females. Does it matter? No, it's a good workout and it makes him happy. That's what matters. And yes, there's quite a few males in ballet. <laughs> Occasionally wearing tutus. So, and yes, we want to encourage this. So that's the end of this review. Um, Tao's Tutu, very good book. So if you like what you see, I am covering um, the LGBTQ um, books, I think this month, um, along with this, I think I've also covered some more hardcore if you're looking for, um, I covered all the band and the band plays on, which is on the AIDS epidemic, a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit older. Um, that's one of my, that's one of my more advanced books. This is obviously a children's book. I do cover all ranges. Um, I do the same thing with films. So, or other documentary things. I think there's a lot of, there's, there's one or two films being done as part of this. And I think there's a few YouTube and short films just because there's not, there's not a lot of LGBTQ plus media targeted at children because we're we're getting there but it's not there yet and I try to why I do cover some more advanced stuff I do a lot of times try to focus on kids particularly in this area because it's somewhere where we're learning tolerance and understanding and acceptance which is one of the other reasons I like this book so because it's all about acceptance and loving yourself so Again, be sure to check out the rest of the channel. I do stuff like this. I do other stuff. I do all sorts of stuff. I cover books every Monday um, and I have films or in some cases short films or YouTube episodes of different channels uh, coming out every Friday. On Wednesdays, occasionally I'll throw in some board games, some travel videos. Those will come out uh, sporadically on Wednesdays. Otherwise, I'm consistent with stuff coming out on Mondays and Fridays. Um, this is being filmed in November, to give you an idea. I'm filling things in advance. So most of the stuff you will see will obviously have been filmed months in advance. So I can keep up with the consistency. So be sure to like and subscribe. Check out the rest of my channel. I have a lot of other stuff, some fiction, non some, some nonfiction, fun, kind of serious, stuff like that. Everything under the rainbow. So like and subscribe, leave a positive comment if you have one. Thank you.